Speaking of the state dinner last night, this morning fashion watchers might be asking who was Michelle Obama wearing at last night's state dinner? Well, that beautiful dress designed by Carolina Herrera, one of the go to designers for first ladies. She's dressed almost all of them going back to Jackie Kennedy, and Herrera just wrapped up her fall runway show at Fashion Week here in New York, and we tagged along to see how Herrera's billion dollar brand remains timeless. Hello. When the models arrive at Carolina Herrera's studio, Rita, one is too short. All eyes are on the clothes, which is four days until her runway show. The designer must decide who wears what, then make sure all 40 outfits fit like gloves. The lining is attached to the skirt. If you need right. loose, call it the storm before an even bigger storm: New York Fashion Week. Which draws more than 200,000 people to 500 shows, generating an estimated $865 million for the city. It's not easy. It's not the glamorous thing that you see when you go to a show and you see the glamorous clothing and the designer coming at the end and saying hello. No, it's not only glamour, it's a lot of work. Still, whether it's Herrera or the clothes that bear her name, glamour is hard to ignore. Born in Venezuela, the daughter of a politician, Herrera grew up surrounded by elegance. She looked like a fashion designer long before becoming one. You didn't start your business until you were 40 years old. Exactly. I didn't. I, uh, I wanted to do something new. I think that would inspire a lot of people to think, you know, here you had had your children, and at age 40, having yes. not had your own business, to start your own business. Exactly. You can. You can do it. With her husband and four daughters, Herrera moved from Caracas to New York City and began working on her first collection, which debuted the next year. The critics loved what they saw, and Herrera quickly became a fixture on the fashion scene, especially when a first lady became one of her first loyal clients. You know, I did dress Jackie for the last 10 years of her life. She had a sense of history that nobody has like her. Herrera's biggest breakout moment came in 1986 when she designed Caroline Kennedy's wedding dress. That was quite amazing because Jackie never got involved in that. Mm -hmm. She just said, Caroline, it's your day. You do it on your own with Carolina, and that's it. Throughout her 33 year career, Herrera has attracted A list clients. Just this year, she dressed Tina Fey, Taylor Swift, Michelle Obama, Lady Gaga. Ah. Lady Gaga. The wearing you on the cover of Harper's Bazaar. Yes. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. I'm a great admirer of Lady Gaga. She has a great voice and she's a great artist. And on top of that, she wants she has her own personality and her own her way of showing herself to the public. And it's very eccentric. I love it. <laughs> but she once wore a dress made out of meat. <laughs> I know. That's taking a chance. That's fashion, Nora. We want to show things that, oh, oh my God, even if it's a meat dress. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we have this one. And then There's no food in any of Herrera's designs, just plenty to feast your eyes on. She delivers modern elegance like few others can, the hallmark of her billion dollar empire, which reaches 105 markets around the world though most of it is designed right here in her New York office. You've done something like 60 runway shows. Yes. Does it get easier every time? No, it doesn't get easier, never. It gets more and more difficult because you get... I get very nervous because I know that people are expecting to see something amazing. People will say, how could Carolina Herrera get nervous? Oh. <laughs> They should come with me for a, for a day before the show. <laughs> we tried, but there was a little bit of a wait. And if Herrera was nervous, she didn't show it. Instead, she showed us her vision for the fall. Fashion is a, is a business that is not very clear. I tell you why, because fashion, as fashion, is magical. It's a dream that has to come to reality but it's a fantasy. Some people say it's very frivolous. It's not only frivolous, because it's for your everyday life. You have to get dressed every day. You know, I'd never been to a fashion show before. This was my, my first time. I know this is a, a big business, certainly, not only in New York, but around the world. And what surprised me, she said, 
uh, Caroline Brown, who's the president of Carolina Herrera, their biggest markets, growing markets, South Asia, the Middle yeah. East. I mean, 105 markets is a billion-dollar brand. It's big business. Mm -hmm. Both of you wear Herrera. Yes. Like, yes. You're wearing her today. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, yeah, she makes beautiful, beautiful dresses. And it's, I did not know she started her business at 40. I think that that's amazing, Nora. Mm -hmm. I've been to fashion shows. What I love about them is, first of all, the music is great. Yeah. <laughs> the most important thing is they're over in like 20 minutes. Yeah, I was going to say, they don't <laughs> last long. <laughs> yeah. and, and, there's, <laughs> and there's beautiful women, Charlie. Exactly. You forgot the best part, right? Exactly. All right. <laughs>